welcome to the e-learning platform by science farm so today we are going to see the part second of sound from standard a so let us see what we are going to learn in this video so in the beginning we'll see a musical instrument and we'll also see the different types of musical instruments and we'll see what are musical notes and what are their respective frequencies then we'll see that how humans are able to produce the sound then we'll see a short activity of how to make a whistle and how it is connected with the sound which humans produce and in the end we'll see the function of loudspeaker and how sound is produced in it so friends we all love to listen to music right but how it is produced hmm. so there are several musical instruments and now we are going to see one which we can actually build at home yes so here i have four metal cups and i have filled some of them with water let me show you how much water i have filled in it in this glass we have filled a lot of water in this one there is slightly less water than the first here we have again slightly less water than this one and in the last glass we don't have any water so we have our musical instrument ready let's listen to it so friends can you differentiate between the sounds produced by all the four cups let me show it to you again friends why is it so why is the sound produced by all the four cups is different yes rightly thought so because the amount of air present in all the cups is different and as you know that is what vibrates and it produces sound now this musical instrument is also called as jal tarang right so now let us see what are the different types of musical instruments so the first type is called as string instruments now we'll see a few examples of them first is violin then we have sitar we have sarangi and guitar so in this specific string instruments as you can see there are stretched strings on the instrument which we have to pluck and then we can actually hear the sound now that sound you heard is very loud this is because of the the containers which you can see so there is nothing but air inside that container right so it acts as an amplifier it amplifies the sound which is generated by plucking the string and also you can see there are different strings different types of strings so the tension you can vary the tension of the strings you can also vary the length of the strings by keeping the fingers in between and the strings are of different thickness or of different sizes and they are tuned accordingly to produce beautiful sounds also called as musical notes now the second type of instrument is percussion instruments percussion instruments are the one which we actually beat to listen to the music or to the sound so the first example is drum then we have tabla kains and dhol so these are a few examples of percussion instruments then we have wind instruments so typically in wind instruments we have to blow wind through the instrument for example flute a bugle 
trumpet and shehnai so these are some common examples of wind instrument in which we blow wind and there is a pipe like structure inside in which air is present and that air vibrates and we can actually hear the sound you can also change the length of the vibrating column inside the instrument there are a few holes as you can see in flute and in shehnai so if you just keep your fingers and close a few holes and open few holes you can hear different different sounds the next type is reed instruments there are two examples of reed instrument one is harmonium another is mouth organ so wind is blown through the metallic you can say opening in which the air vibrates and these are the specific examples of reed instrument so now i like to ask you one question before seeing these types of instrument we have seen a short clip of an instrument which you can actually make it at home called as jaltara so can you tell which type of instrument jaltaran is just think about it so friends we are all aware of the musical notes sa re ga ma pa dha ni so these are the seven musical notes so let's hear it and i'll also tell you the frequency of each note so here is sa the frequency is 256 hertz this is re frequency 280 hertz this is ga 312 hertz this is ma 346 hertz this is pa 384 hertz dha 426 hertz and this is ni 480 hertz so these are the seven different musical notes and their frequencies right so here is a table of different seven different musical notes and their respective frequencies so you can pause the video and note these frequencies down so now we are going to see how humans produce sound right so before we actually see what helps in producing sound we have to do an experiment so every one of you keep your fingers on throat as shown in the picture and try to say something blah 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 you can feel that something is moving or something is vibrating inside your throat now what is exactly vibrating let us see that so here we have a picture of human body showing the various parts in and around throat so the basic parts which are shown here are nose mouth wind pipe lungs and inside the throat there is a part called as larynx so the vibrations are actually coming from the larynx now these specific parts which i have shown you can blow out wind and you can breathe in also from that and as you know wind is necessary for producing sound because something has to vibrate inside so what exactly in larynx vibrates we will just see that so here is a clip part of larynx also called as voice box so these are the walls thick walls of tissues and there is a membrane and there is a gap between those walls which is called as which are called as rather vocal cords and when we breathe in the wind flows in the cords vibrate and sound is produced as seen in the clip here 
So these are the actual vocal cords in action. So when we breathe in, breathe out, they move, they vibrate so that the sound is produced. And this motion is detected by our fingers when we just keep our fingers on the throat while speaking. So now we are going to make a whistle. For that, we'll need two popsicle sticks or ice cream sticks. We'll need two rubber bands, pieces of match stick, and a paper which is actually cut and is of the size of this popsicle stick. So this is a very simple process. The first step is you have to keep this piece of paper between the two popsicle sticks like this. I'll show it to you again. Then you have to place this piece of matchstick above the paper but below the popsicle stick like this and fix this end with the help of rubber band. Right. And on the other side, we have to place this piece of matchstick below the piece of paper. And we have to seal this end with rubber band. Now what does these pieces of matchstick do? So they create a space inside or between these two popsicle sticks as you can see. And now if I, if I blow air through this, it will make a sound. So the paper inside the two popsicle stick actually vibrates. So similarly, in our throat, as we have seen the vocal cords which are moving, they vibrate. We can control the gap, the size of the gap between the vocal cords by releasing the tension on them. But here the tension is fixed. So you will only hear a particular sound when I blow air through this. Right. So here I have shown you a copper coil and a magnet. So I have shown this because we are going to learn about loudspeaker. So before that, we will just understand the basic principle on which loudspeaker works. So as you know, something has to move or something has to vibrate in order to produce sound. So in loudspeaker, why anything moves? So the basic thing is it moves because a loudspeaker converts electrical energy into sound energy. So it is related to electricity, right? So electricity, it when, when it flows through the copper coil, as you know, it produces an electromagnet. And if you bring a magnet near it, it will move or vice versa. If you keep the magnet stationary and if you bring a lightweight coil, through which current is passing then it will move and it will produce some sound. Now an actual speaker looks like this. There is a ring magnet on the bottom side of the speaker. Now as you know magnet has two poles north and south and it is placed under a pole piece and a rear plate on the bottom, in the bottom and on the top there is a front plate which is also a ring. So this is placed like this, the magnet inside the plates and these plates also they magnetize in order to form north and south poles respectively. Right. So if you see from a side angle, 
this is how the structure of ring magnet with the plates looks like. Now you will see the different parts attached to this assembly. So this is the voice coil former on which the voice coil is being wound and the two terminals of the coil are they are the ones through which the current flows and goes out. Then we have frame, suspension, the spider, the diaphragm and the dust cap. So the diaphragm is the one which actually vibrates. Dust cap helps us to protect the inside the, the objects inside the speaker from dust frame helps everything to be in one place right and the spider it acts like a spring spider and suspension both acts like a spring right so now when we pass current through the voice coil then it vibrates like this and then sound is produced and then we can hear the sound basically the electrical signal to the speaker comes from a device called as amplifier and the input to the amplifier is provided by any instrument such as a music player or a microphone through which we speak. So the exact words being spoken or the exact music being played on the music player is being heard from the speaker. So in the microphone, it converts our sound energy into electrical energy. Amplifier amplifies the signal, it increases the amplitude and it gives the input to the speaker from which we can hear the sound. Right. So let's summarize the video. So in the beginning, we have seen a musical instrument called Jaltaran. And then we have seen the four different types of musical instruments and their examples. Then we have seen the seven musical notes and their respective frequencies. And we have seen that how humans produce sound. So sound is produced in voice box or larynx inside our throat. Then we have seen a short clip of how to make a whistle and how is it related to the voice coil or the cords, the vocal cords in our throat. Then we have seen the functioning or working of loudspeaker. So here are some questions. So kindly note these questions down in your notebook and write the answers to them. Thank you.